everyone, this is Mary over here at Images on the Page, and today I'm here to do my monthly wrap-up for March. So for March I had a pretty light reading month. I only read two books. Um, both of them have reviews up, um, and I can link them in the description box down below. Uh, the first one I finished was A Closed and Common Orbit on audiobook by Becky Chambers. I really love that. It was awesome. It is the sequel to all The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet and it was just phenomenal. It was one of, I actually gave it a 6 out of 5 stars because I can, but basically I just loved everything that it talked about, how it was written, everything. Um, the other book I read was A Grave Talent by Laurie King. That one I gave a 4 out of 5. It is um, a mystery that centers around a lesbian detective. And, but it's it's so much more than that. Um, that's putting it like just buzzwords, I guess, is what I'm using to get those. Um, but if you want more about the synopsis, go check out my review for those. That one I also really enjoyed. The mystery wasn't too like scary or gruesome. So like if you are a little squeamish, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Like it doesn't go into too much description. Um, there's su some suspenseful moments, but they're more like atmospheric than like anything else. And because I had only read two books, because like I'm only like two minutes into my video and half of it's probably going to get cut out, um, I decided to talk about some other things that I loved doing in March. Um, so the first thing I loved was um, I finished Brooklyn Nine-Nine and I didn't think I would like it when I first heard all the hype about it. I'm not really a comedy show person, like usually I like a little bit more serious shows, um, sometimes even darker shows, but I was just kind of striking out with a lot of the shows I was watching and I saw Cece over at Problems of a Book Nerd talk about it a lot and she really loves it, so I decided to give it a shot and it is excellent. Oh my goodness, it's so good. Um, it is definitely hilarious, like I, I laughed so much. It does t talk about more serious topics, um, but it does it in a very light-hearted way and I don't mean to say that it makes fun of those topics at all or in any way but it just approaches it in a very light-hearted way so it doesn't feel I don't know the word I'm looking for but it's just handled really well for people who might not and the diversity in there is fantastic sorry Wally's playing and he hit my camera I mean it's absolutely phenomenal. They're, the captain's gay, there's multiple people of color, uh, I even in just the main crew. Um, it shows really awesome male-male friendships without them being like toxic, dangerous to other people, and it's just, there's a bi character later in the series, and it's just, oh, it does so many things so well. Another thing that I ended up doing in March that I really loved was I joined a book club, and I just, I don't know, it's just really nice to have someone, besides the people on booktube, just someone in person um, that you can talk to other books about. Um, I would recommend if there's one in your area and it, they talk about at least subjects you like or have a common theme, um, to join them, give them a shot. Just because it is an awesome way to meet new people and to kind of expand. Well, that's really all I have to talk about for my March wrap up. Like I said, I didn't really read a lot. I was just... Life's been a little hectic, and I've been in a reading slump. Hopefully April goes better, but we'll see. Um, but until the next video, ta-ta for now!